Is it good to marry your high school sweetheart? It is a stereotypical thing to do. On one hand, we've known each other forever and our families get along. On the other hand, you haven't known anything else, and if you decide later it doesn't work, you're 20-something with three kids in tow. You think it won't work out? The surest way to avoid poverty is wait until you're married to have kids, marry after the age of 20 and be employed full-time. I've heard that. So you think I shouldn't marry my high school sweetheart? Here's another way of looking at it. If you manage to wait from age 18 to age 20 to get married, and you still want to be together, then you can get married. That's a long wait. It's a long engagement, and it proves your maturity. If you get married at 18, your odds of getting a divorce are sky high. I've heard people say you shouldn't get married until your late 20s or 30s. There is a strong correlation between educational level and odds of divorce. For people who marry for the first time after finishing college, the odds of staying married are now over 80%. I heard that the divorce rate is 50%. The study behind that was flawed. They compared marriage rate to divorce rate, not the odds of staying together. I heard it is better to marry young. It is better to marry young if you think sex before marriage is a sin. But don't get married until you're 20 to be somewhat certain you'll stay together. Waiting that long is like a horror story. Think of it as a guarantee of your storybook wedding that actually leads to a long, happily ever after. And avoiding the divorced at 20 with two kids dreaming of rescue by a handsome rich loner who comes to love her and her children, the staple of romance novels. That's the woman's equivalent of a dirty magazine. And just as improbable as a normal guy dating a supermodel. And if he leaves me? Then you'll have avoided the horror story it could have become.